And you thought that never was a girl online. Try putting that on a t-shirt. It would look ridiculous. I have mine ordered for March 14th. Still hasn't came in yet. And it's like April. Or there's no calendar to here, so I don't know. It could be August. Is there a new month? Anyway, Andy Thought There's Never Was a Girl Online. It's an anime that I watched a while ago, and it's on the list here, so I pointed out my hand when doing that. That's a list. I'm kind of not excited to watch this. I really didn't enjoy it when I watched it the first time. It's just like, I, 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 when I first watched it, yeah, I loved it. It got me to the whole rom com anime addiction that I call the anime curse. <laughs> Funny title, I know, made myself. If you dare steal it, I'll murder you and everyone you love. If I could. But, for now, I'm just gonna watch it again. Hopefully it's good the second time around. Or just the third time around. I don't know, how much time have I watched this? It feels like I've done this before, but... It, it, it just feels different this time, you know? Anyway, Andy thought there never was a girl online. I said that like three times now. Let's watch it! Interesting. Let the record show that Schwein, unlike the rest of us, is a verified normie. You should pick us up in your minivan next time. <laughs> Master, you too? So after episode one, I have to say that, honestly, I enjoyed this more than I thought. Um, so, this guy here, I forgot his name, so my bad. He, uh, meets this online girl who confesses to him, and they become married in game. In game. He only counts as an online relationship, and so... That's how he sees it, because he thinks it's secretly a guy online, because he has some past experiences, which we've all had. Right. We've all had it, right? No? Alright, whatever, you guys suck. Anyway. They, uh, meet up online, or not online, sorry. They meet up in person, and turns out she's actually a human woman. She's actually a woman, and the funniest part is that one of them is the guy is is the girl that they, they hate each other. The guy and the girl hate each other. The other one is a actual counselor, and well, and you thought there was never was a girl online. There's a girl online. All of them are girls, except for the main character. So, not much to add. There's a funny part where uh, they both hate normies, and they both like control each other. Weird. And, uh, no way. This guy straight up goes, no way. When he sees a woman, he's like, no way. I mean, I, I, I didn't know they existed until just now either. I mean, sound the alarms, people. Women exist. Please be gentle. My guy, she was naked. And you went on with your life? You could have. Anyway, so, Akko here is uh, going all cuckoo crazy and uh, combining the real world with the game. Trying to open menus and stuff in real life like a goober. No one does that. Well, alright, that's a lie, but still. Right now, she's uh, stuck in a little loophole of herself and trying to quit out of school. But uh, Akko here, I'm just going to call him by their game. He's the only one I know. Um, goes to her house and says, Ula, mate, I'm here to help you. And it does some therapist crap and helps her throughout the thing. Crazy stuff, man. Also, they had a date and it's at a graveyard. Beautiful first date, let me tell you. Ah. If you don't have your first day at a graveyard, you're just stupid, okay? Graveyard's amazing. You have people watching you, though, so it's a little bit weird, but other than that, it's a great place. Let me tell you, the, the food, amazing. So, not much to add there. Uh, they have a gaming club. I don't think I mentioned that. And it's basically to help Akko see the real world, not the game world. And it kind of, kind of not work. It just doesn't. Also, the uh, short hair, not short hair, short girl, blonde hair, uh, she's embarrassed about people finding out about her gaming life, and uh, her friend, best friend, finds out about it, and joins them, actually. 
So she was embarrassed for nothing. It, it's kind of like my life. I'm embarrassed about everything I do, yet I don't know. People do it with me, so. I kill someone, my friends kill them with me. Kill them with me. I have friends. Big news, you guys! This next update's gonna feature player housing. We're not interrupting anything, are we? <laughs> no. You don't end it like that. You end with them kissing, not almost kissing. Now you had to make a season two. They're not. I'm pretty sure I heard somewhere it's been canceled. But still. Mad at that. Should have made a season two. Anyway, it ends with uh them going in the game, their game to play, them going into a uh, war for a castle. They have like shards and stuff. They have shards for themselves. And that shard represents them team their teams. And as soon as their teams puts their shard on the little throne, the castle's theirs and they have to defend it. They somehow win by like slim luck and it all all ends well. That's a maid cafe. I don't know how to feel about that part. It's a school. You shouldn't be having maid cafes. You can do many ideas. Anyway. And you thought there never was a girl online, um in on in all honesty, rewatching it, I love it this show it is funny it's a grand adventure it's a uh, weird at times but if I were to rate this show from a scale of 1 to 10 I'd say 8 out of 10 it's not perfect but it's awesome so if you want to watch some anime you got nothing else to watch start with this that's what I started with with that out of the way uh nothing much to say it's a good anime. I love it. The bits and pieces. And I may be so This curse may be stuck with me for the rest of my life. And you know what? It can't be that bad. I mean, I am missing water. And we all need that to survive. But I should be fine. I'm going to drop out of high school.